Hello everyone and welcome back to my LEGO Star Wars mock. This week is the 13th update of the mock. And yeah, so this past week I didn't really get as much done as I wanted to. Um, especially pertaining to the gearbox um, that uh, drives the elevator. But I did get a good amount of stuff done as far as just detailing on the roof. Um, so yeah, we can take a look at that. So I was able to get some more done on the barracks, but I'm going to have to put the finishing touches on that next week. This is what the barracks look like now after I built another level onto them. Again, not quite complete yet. There are um, a couple pieces that I'm still missing. I'm going to try and scrounge around the Lego room and find those. But I also made a time lapse of what I have got so far. Um, so here it is, guys. Like I said, I am going to have to go back and add some missing pieces and whatnot to the barracks. Um, but yeah, they look pretty good. Um, and they're definitely starting to come together and they're functional, like I've said before. The second level of the barracks that I built this week is identical to the first set. Um, so I'm not really going to go into too much more detail. Let's go ahead and move on to the landing pad area and over here I added some more just little detail aspects of it including these three boxes on the landing pad and also a little um, communications area with these tall um, bar pieces sticking up here. I added some more detail pieces on this section of the roof as well but most of this is going to be temporary because I need to figure out a way I can hide the battery pack that powers the elevator um, and that's going to be over here so most of this stuff is just placeholders but I like to have a little communications area over here. I did a little rough draft mock-up of the communications area and that includes these two dishes that you can see as well as the little uh, control area that this guy is manning the communications area. My primary objective for this past week was to really make the roof area for the second level of the base, and that I did. So as you can see, I put the um, lookout tower on top of the roof, and that looks really nice. Also, I put in this little area with a lot of greebling, and that's just supposed to represent um, kind of like the reactor or like some of the behind the scenes, like... Um, you know, electrical systems and stuff. I also built another communications tower, and I really like that design, so I think I'm going to keep that. Going down to the lower levels of the roof, you can see that I did some more detailing with uh, some more greebling inside of these little rings that I made a couple weeks ago. And yeah, it looks pretty good, just some detail, some kind of technical details, that kind of thing. Overall, I think the Greebling looks pretty nice. There may be some changes that come to this section, but, you know, I, I think it's pretty final where it is. I really do want to add some more detail up to this roof because it really just lacks something to me. So I think that's something I'm going to work on for next week as well. Well, that about does it for this week's mock update. I know not as much stuff as before, but... You know, it's it's definitely coming together. I hope to have this done by week 15. Um, and I think that's definitely plausible still. Lots of stuff that I just kind of need to, you know, add some finishing touches and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. But make sure if you want to give feedback, do so in the comments. It is very welcome. I welcome constructive criticism and that kind of thing. It's very helpful. So yeah, make sure you do that, and also be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and check out other videos on the channel. Um, there's some mini mocks, other mock updates, that kind of thing. And thanks again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more mock updates.